because you're my dad, you know. And so these are the type of issues that family faces, or especially PKs. Yeah, okay. PKs. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is what they face uh, all the time. All the time. Now, now, are you a, you're, you're a PK kid? Yeah. That's my daughter, my do, baby girl. Yeah, <laughs> baby girl. Do you face that from people outside of the family that you should be perfect? Yeah, of course. Um, like they say, they think uh, because our mom, our parents, our pastor, that we all automatically supposed to be these goody two shoe PK kids who just like our parents. But at the end of the day, we just like y'all too. We are learning, making a progress in this world, just like everybody else. So. You yeah, make mistakes and everything. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't be making no mistakes. Mm -hmm. I, I Don't gonna... you know <laughs> that if you make mistakes, it's going to reflect on our ministry? Yeah, um, I guess I, if that's what they think, but uh, I make mistakes and I figure out that I need to figure out how to correct it or do better next time. So I think sometimes mistakes is a good thing to make so you'll know how to get it get together get it together next time. So. You know, you know, mother, help me with this. Now, this is your, your, your son. Yes, sir. You raised him. Yes. When, when, was there a, a call? Did you see something different about him or, 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 or not? Be no, honest. no. You didn't see nothing I about never would have thought he was going to be no pastor. No. no. Didn't go that way at all. No, not that way at all. No. And, 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 and so when, so when did, when, so when he broke the news, <laughs> when, I'm going to focus on you, when he broke the news, <laughs> what did you tell him? I said, what? You were surprised. Yes, I was surprised. I never saw a calling. They were trained and they went to church when uh, my ex-husband and I, we took them to church you know, and everything. So they knew the Lord and they knew what it was all about and they knew our lives and how we felt about things, right. which we taught them. Now, now so were we you a first lady and your husband a pastor? No. No, y'all weren't even uh, pastors. No. no. Deacons? No. You weren't even deacons? No. Ushers? No. That was even an usher? No. <laughs> Mother, did you go to church? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was very much involved in the missionary society and... I well, was a church school. secretary. Yeah, and I was a church okay, secretary. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, like that. Yeah, okay, so, so yeah. there was some, some oh, affiliation. Yes. Oh, definitely. Okay, so there was some affiliation. So, what do you think? You think it was Carmen that motivated him to become a pastor? You know, I really don't know. I've heard her mention that uh, when she talked with, along with Dr. Bay, that they said that he was going to be a pastor. They said he was going to be a pastor. Yes, they said it. Okay. And so I said, oh, okay. Oh, good. So I never said anything until he actually came out with it. Okay. And so my okay. only reaction would be, praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Go Hallelujah. ahead on and do what the Lord wants you to do. Right, right, right. And, and, and so, 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 Pastor Carmen, we, you know, I mean, we, we sort of know the story. Mm-hmm. And and so when the time you, you your call came and, and you got how many children did you already have? We had three children when we went into ministry. You had your and what were their ages? They were. Oh, let's <laughs> go back. They were like eight. Well, ten, twelve. Yeah. No, they were younger than that. Let's yeah, let's like, go back thirteen years ago. How old was you? Ten. ten. So yeah, yeah, eight, ten, and twelve. Okay, and were they able to relate to what you were telling them? They were about in, ministry. They were, um, they were, we were going to church, so they was used to ministry. I think what happened was, and I, I hope I'm going to say this, I never told them that they had to do things in church. Only thing that they had to do was come to church. Now okay. that they did. Come everything, every function. Everything. Oh, every function. Oh, okay, <laughs> well, but I never, I wanted them to be in attendance, but I don't think I made them like be on this committee and do that. And hold on, I, hold on, hold on. Did, did she make you? No, no. Okay, go ahead. Okay, continue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, but she's right. I made her come to. You they made had her come. To, it, it was it was they no other options. Sure. And yeah. and, yeah. and today yeah. we talked about it. Years later, she talked about you missed out on some of my um, volleyball games. <gasps> I never knew that hurt her. I never really? knew that that affected wow, her. Wow. You know, years later, she said, you didn't, because you went to church because you had this to do and that to do. You missed out on a lot of my volleyball games. And I'm like, oh, did I hurt? You know, so mm. I, you know, and I was like, well, you knew mommy was doing ministry. And she said, I still was your daughter. Mm. 
Wow. That is that's a powerful mm -hmm. statement. That is a powerful statement. And do you think, young lady, that um, it was unfair? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I knew she was going to say yeah. it all. <laughs> yeah, unfair. And explain ex explain your, 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 your reasoning here for us. Um, cause I felt like, um, you know, um, just basically like the over the overall, like, okay, we go to church, you know, we love God. He baked in this. I thought he blessed us. He do for us. He makes sure we're happy too. So I figured, well, Hey, well, why are you taking my parents away from us? Like, I had a lot did I uh, played the drums. I had a lot of stuff going on too. So I'm just like, well, why is they missing everything just for church? Like, do we get involved? Do they come and be involved in our life or just strictly church? So yeah, I was um, upset yeah, and I can see that. A little frustrated with it and didn't understand like this. I, basically, it was just not fair to me. And and, and Pastor, and she's spoiled too. So and, well, yeah. well, 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 hold on, hold on. Put your mic a little bit back away from you. Just put it to the very powerful. Okay. Do you? You, you you say she's spoiled, but y'all spoiled. So I'm not I'm not gonna take that as a, I'm not gonna take that as an excuse. No, he spoiled her. Oh, he spoiled. Her. Yes, daddy, daddy yes, spoiled. Yes, daddy, spoiled. daddy, daddy spoiled. Her. Daddy spoiled. But did you hear what she said? In in the sense that your, your mic is fine. Okay, your mic is fine. Do you hear what she is saying regarding church and family? Yes. What is more important? Hmm. <laughs> y'all think about that. Mother, what's more important? <laughs> oh my God! Um, I think the will of God is more important. I didn't. That wasn't the question. Yes. <laughs> that wasn't the question. Whatever. whatever. That wasn't the question. <laughs> I, I I would have to say you would have to put God first and then your. Okay, that, that wasn't the question. That that wasn't the question. <laughs> I said two things. I said church and family. Which more important? But, I'm a, I'm a, I you. say mm -hmm. I say family then church because I feel like you can't have you you gotta have your home your family together before you can have your church together so I say family church but I say God family Same church so I say that's how thing. I say yeah yeah, well, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm what's, say what's, we. What's, what's, we all know God is first yeah, right. yeah God yeah. family church yeah. God family, family church. church right. So, so for yeah. the past. So, oh, what if I say oh, I have okay. a little maybe? Okay, um, okay, okay. Difference. What if I say I believe my church is my family, and I don't. I think that I I I died and I went into the family of Christ. Oh. And that church body became my family. I'm not saying when I missed out on her activities. Yeah. That was okay. Now okay. that was something different. Okay. That was me putting me being in a place okay. more important than taking care of some business. So that I say I'm I belong to the body of Christ now. So they are my family. Okay, so you you Jesus you, Christ. You you about to give me that Jesus. I know what you're going. Right. I know what you're going. He, I know. he, he said who too. who is my brother and sister? But the ones that do his will. All right. All but right. A all right, all right. But but see but but, but 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 hear what he said. L l let's get deep in that. Okay. Question, I knew he was going to okay. say that. He said, "Who is my brother and my sister and my mother and my mother? Mm -hmm. Who are they?" He said, well, and, who, "And who and who are they? Those that was doing what? The will of the will, the will of his father. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those that was doing the will of his father. Now, in that statement, he you notice because he ain't had no kids. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> right. right. That's, right. that's right. correct. He, he ain't had no kids." He didn't say anything about my sons and my daughters, you know. He he would have put his sons and his daughters first before his his church. I believe that. I truly believe that because that's how the father is. The father puts us since we're now adopted to his family. Mm -hmm. He puts us first right. and foremost. He said he made us a little lower than the angels. The father gave his only begotten son exactly. for us. For he us. gave so, his he gave his ultimate for, for us. us. Right. So I'm thinking since he can give his ultimate and I'm not saying I'm a, I'm gonna give my ultimate as giving my children. I think mm -hmm. I should have and I know not I think right. I know today I should have done better. Mm -hmm. I should have sacrificed some times of having somebody else do something and me being church um and going to some of her games and some of her um events. So I know that now but right, I still right. say the church is my family. Sure, sure. I, I mean, we all understand that. So, I mean, because what I want you to do is, 
we have people listening and and, okay. and, and, and trying to glean from this conversation mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. And we we want to give them some some some, uh, some 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 something tangible, but maybe some closure to something. Yes. Okay. Especially to the new ones starting out. You know, right. the, there's a lot of good pastors out there now that got a whole bunch of babies. Right. And those babies are going to grow up and they're going to do things like volleyball, basketball, tennis, and whatever. And we want them to know what to go on out there and and focus on your ministry and and God to take care of the kids or find some sort of balance. We have you have to create a balance. You have to. Um, yeah, there has to be. You do have to create a balance. You have to say, and, and then at the same time when she was little, uh, we started the ministry. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was. You know, it was like it's fresh. Yeah. So we had to do what we had to do at any time, but it, I think you still create that balance. You still have to train somebody up that can be able to do what you do, if it, 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 and, and have them teach a class or have them run a midweek service for you if you have to. Not, 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 not. Now, let me be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I've, I've been doing church. I'm 53 years old. Okay. Mm-hmm. I my first recollection of church is the age of about eight. Mm-hmm. Okay. After all these years, I've come to a conclusion. You can correct me if I'm wrong. All right? Mm-hmm. Family first. And let me tell you why. Mm-hmm. I was thinking today, I said, you know what? On I like to get together with my family. And any time there's a family event, back in the day, if it fell on a Sunday, they wasn't mm-hmm. seeing me. And then way back in the day when my father was seven days minutes or whatever he was going, if they fell on a Saturday, they weren't seeing me. We weren't celebrating no Christmas, all that crazy stuff. By the grace of God, my family still loves us today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But, but by his grace, they love right, us. Right. And so, you know, I started saying, you know what, if, if my family want to do some things on Sunday in the afternoon, we doing it. Mm-hmm. We doing it. Nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with it because I figured the church is in me. That's where it is. I've been in church long enough mm-hmm. to hear a sermon. I've heard a sermon every sermon. I've probably heard every topic a million times already. It's in me. Mm-hmm. It's in me. And I think that we need to really focus on our family because if we look at the world today, it's, it's all screwed up because of no family values. No family values. Right. Right. No fa- No no spending time with our our children. Our cousins, I mean, you may have some nephews out there that could be going haywire. Some mm-hmm. nieces that could be going cuckoo. And here we are, pastors speaking in the pulpit, but they're not coming to our church. Right. 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 All right, nephew, what you got going on? Or, or, or I got a game on Sunday. Or I'm, do, I'm coming. Mm-hmm. I'll be there. Mm-hmm. Reaching out to, to them. Hey, nephew in jail, I'll be there. Right. I'm coming. Because these are the things that God wants, that, that what God looks at. Mm-hmm. You know, preaching a sermon and all that stuff, that's fine. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yeah. But it's the action. It's the that, actions. That, that, that tells it. Leaving the 99 <laughs> and going after the yeah, one. one. Even yeah. if it's a cousin, nephew, daughter, sister, brother, uncle, aunt, whatever. Mm-hmm. Leaving the 99. And I, and, I, and I say that because I see where our family when I get with my family, I love it. I have fun. Yeah, but I've heard yeah, people that say when they with their family, it's torturous. <laughs> I heard that too. I, I, can't, I can't believe it. Pastor, yeah. tell me about it. How can it be torturous being with your family? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I can't say how, how it happens unless they just got their own issues. That's the only thing I can think of. They grew up with some issues and you know, sometimes, or I did hear sometimes this side of the family say one thing, this side of the family believes something else, and it became a big argument. Then you figure out later on down the road, a lot of times they forget what they was even fighting, fighting about. about. Yeah. You know, fighting it, about. But, but it carries on and it keeps going. So, and the sad part is because the parents are arguing, the kids don't get the opportunity yeah, to, to, to connect, to, to connect, and right. get to know their cousins. And so they yeah. mad at their cousins. They don't even know the why. why. They just. Because <laughs> they parents is. How about you? You mad at your cousins? No. That's good. Mm-hmm. Praise mm-hmm. the Lord. Man. But I Praise think the it, uh, certain stuff like that stirred from lack of relationship with one another. So 
like you said, we too busy focusing on ourselves that we don't have that family time. So we mm -hmm. lose that time with our family to get to know them and build a relationship. So that's where some disagreements come about. So, but my family, my cousins, no, we yeah. don't have that. We, I mean, we ain't perfect every day, but right, right. Yeah, we don't close. have no problems. Yeah, we're very close. Pastor Carmen, I sense she's a touchy feely type. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not though. And I'm not. And yeah. really not. Today, she just, my hand was on the dresser. Uh -huh. She had to put her hand on my hand. Uh -huh. I'm like, why is your hand on my hand? Mommy! That's her, and I'm just not that <laughs> one. I sense that. I sense that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, 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 so there's a balance. Yeah, it's a yeah. balance. There's, there's a balance there. Yeah. And you have to create that balance you and do. have family time and, uh, Cause it's a, a lot of times I just take get my kids and my wife and I say let's go. Okay. Wherever it is, we, where we end up. Okay. okay. That's where we end up. Oh well, the, the, the audience is applauding for you, Pastor. For that. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and we, I mean, because we did some things wrong in the beginning. After they got older, our children know now they uh, some things, and they see even say in the church today. Well, we're your children. I understand that those are your spiritual children, but our children will tell us we're your children, and they say we need that time. So we kind of do things with them, just with them, because they will let us know. Okay. And um, they don't mind sowing us, but they want to the, <laughs> they want to reap the benefits afterwards. Right. Right. <laughs> they right. Now they really want to reap them. And and our children because they're getting older, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they're twenty. Twenty-four next week. Yeah, so, so twenty-two, 20, twenty-four, and twenty-six. Twenty-six. Okay, mm -hmm. twenty-six year old still at home. Yeah, yes. she's still at home. She, oh, she, the one that looks exactly like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got, it, got it, got it. And and so, what are you going to do, um, pastor, to 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 help other pastors understand the importance of of a family. Um just family just, time. Just let them know to create a balance. Um sometimes we can, you know, too much of anything is not good. Right. Uh, uh, so we don't want to focus all our time on ministry and leave our family to die. Amen. Right. And Amen. so and so we you do have to create a balance um with that. Uh even with with even with the situation they talking about even though mm -hmm. we miss some of her functions, yes. she never was neglected. Neglected. Oh, of course, right. we can see that. Yeah, right. she never was neglected. I right. mean, my right. kids, and when, that's why I brought up she was spoiled. Right, She's right. spoiled because my right. kids, man, I took them. We, I, one thing when I got uh, married to my wife, I said, hold on, I believe in family time. I, I We took a vacation every summer. Amen, amen. I don't care if we just went to Cincinnati, to Kings Island. We right. was going so somewhere. somewhere. Right, right. There were times when I just took them to the hotel on the weekend just for all of us because she right. liked to swim in the swimming pool. There you go. There you know, go. Right. And so we would just do stuff right. like that. So um, it's creating that balance. It is. And, right. and But at the same time, you need your family in ministry. Right. Um, it reminded me in the uh, book of Exodus, I believe, chapter 17, where... Uh, God told him to go fight. Uh, uh, told Moses to go to the top of the hill and told told the Israelites to go fight. Told Joshua go take the troops and fight. And he had Aaron and her. Aaron right. was his brother, and her was his brother-in-law. Right, right. And every time Aaron's hands, mm -hmm. I mean Moses' mm -hmm. hands got yeah. weak. Right, right. They would lift his hands back up. Mm -hmm. Right, right. But I, when I studied it, Aaron, well, we all know Aaron was his, bro his brother. Mm -hmm. Her is his brother-in-law. So you need that family mm -hmm. to keep you lifted up. Now, you know, I'm happy, I'm happy you brought up that particular family. Mm -hmm. Do you have a Miriam in your family? <laughs> a Miriam. A Miriam. A Miriam. Is, is, is there a Miriam in your family, Mom? I, that, uh, so I hear from God, too, huh? It could be a gal female. Yes. But but you ain't gotta say their name or nothing. Yes, <laughs> yes, but, yes, we yeah, do. You, you, All both sides. You know, my side and they side. Okay, you know, you, 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 <laughs> yeah, you, you know, you know, you, you, you know the one I'm talking about. Yeah, we have I always got something to say. It's right. always gonna be one in everybody's family. Then one in everybody's family. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and mother now how do you handle or what do you say to the Miriams uh if they do oh. talk to you? <laughs> Well, we have to go scripture first. Okay. And if it's what you said, somebody else said, mm -hmm. then we got to go get the other person mm. and then talk. Then if you can't say what she said in front of her while she's there, we end it. Mm. 
Wow. That he say, she say. You don't play that. No. No. You don't play that. No. Because that's where lies come in at. And that's come how on. truth get distorted. Right. And that's how people get into um, bad relationships. And I don't even know you, but I've heard what somebody else said, and then I don't like it because of what she said. What she said, right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get her and him, and then I'm going to say, well, she said, you said. That's how you do and it. And that'll cut that out. Yes. That's right. You know, and that's what it yeah. is. And then I said, now you shouldn't do that. You now, know, now, you the church, don't put, now, let go back, put garbage in you. Now, do you feel um, a greater responsibility as mom since Carmen and Charles are pastors. I mean, on your life, do you feel patriotic, like a patriarch, uh, more responsible, more more prayer for them? I mean, well, yes, what, yeah. What most, do you most definitely? Um, and like I say, this, he is this is my son and my daughter-in-law, but they're first my pastors. Mm. They're my overseers. Okay. Then they're my son and my daughter-in-law. Right. You know that. So. I do feel that way because I want to make sure my life is in line with God. Right. Because they are the, the teachers. They are the shepherds. They're over me. They're accountable for me as well. Wow. Now, when I'm wrong, don't, they'll tell me too. Okay. So, and I love that because they're they're my pastors and my son and daughter. Right. That's going to tell me the truth. But you're also so mama, though. Yeah, but I am mama, mama but, you, but it's an order. Okay. It's an okay. order. And, and, and that's the pastor and the co-pastor. Okay. So they're they're my overseers. They're looking out for my life. I don't know it all. All right. But I as being the a mother, yes. yes, I try to make sure my life is stayed in line with the Lord and support and back them. I pray for them. Yes, yes. I got to be behind them. Yes. You know, and then I have to be an example too. Now what's the mama gonna be looking like if she an example and they got the pastor and right. you know, they they know your son it's right. Your son. Right. Because that because that's that's a very humbling uh disposition you have. Yeah, it's, it, you, you have, do. You, you have yeah. to humble yourself yeah, you and you have to bring yourself, yourself right. under restriction. You got to realize who's talking to because you. Because you're telling you. You carry him for nine months. That's right. right. <laughs> and I'll take him I'm out of the work. I'll take him out. I'll take him out the work. Right. <laughs> he ain't never had that conversation with your mom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I told him that many times. <laughs> many times. Right. But, 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 you know, but he is my, they are my pastors. They're yeah. my overseers. They Amen. come first. And I am Amen. under their rule. Yes. Yes. First. That's number one. Amen. And then I do back them up. Well, I you know, I'm, I'm, I'm praying that, that those that are listening and hearing uh, the, this conversation will, will receive, mm -hmm. you know, what you all are saying. Mm -hmm. um, because mm -hmm. apparently everything is imperfect. Mm -mm. No. You mm -mm. know, the, there is no perfect family. There is no mm -mm. perfect church. Mm -mm. Um, the only perfect person we know is Jesus. Right. Definitely. Um, young lady, are you dating? Oh. Am I dating? Yes. Are you allowed to date? No. I, um. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, oh, well, 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 I'm not. Did you hear what she said? Huh? Tell her define what that means. Mm -hmm. I have. Friends. She said she was grown. Define what grown means. I'm already. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm my own person. Um. So yes. Like. Um. My mom is. They're not. Well. They're. They're like, look, I'm going to tell you what's right and what's wrong. Okay. At the end of the day, you going to make that, uh, if you make that decision, that right or wrong decision, you got to live with that decision. Right. I right. can only tell you what to do, but at the end of the day, you're your own person. You're going to make that your own decision. So, um, what was the question of my dating? Um, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, that's good because now we get to see how they react. Did you come biblical with her or do you become his mom and dad? When it comes to her personal relationships, I'll, I'll be my, I'll be dad. Okay, <laughs> I'll just be real. Yeah. Right, right, and I'm right. grandma. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She got them all. Yeah. That's definitely grandma. They got, yeah. they got them all. I try, I try to be biblical. Do you I? Cry, you I don't, are. I, Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I was going to say that. She's super saying on that. Oh, she's super saying on, on this topic. No, <laughs> because I just know the, the aspects of dating. And if yes. you're not doing it within the boundaries of God, it's going to be dangerous. So that's why, you know, I kind of, but I give her, you know, I don't, I just never wanted to have my kids in this box. I wanted them to be who they were because yeah. I was in a box. I was church lady's daughter. I was, you know, <laughs> so, and because of that, I made decisions only based upon going the opposite direction. Yep. Yep. 
Yep, I understand. I just exactly did the opposite. Yeah. Everybody yeah. expected me to do I just did the opposite. Yeah. So with my children, I wanted to tell them the right way and then have them make their own choices. I have two grandchildren, too young to have it. There was a mm-hmm. few mistakes. Okay. But even with that, I I never wanted to say, oh, you were so wrong with this. You made your choice. Now, we as a family are going to deal with it. Deal with it. Right. I, right. I didn't. I mean. You love know, them grandbabies, too. Oh, man. my goodness. I, I love them. Love them. <laughs> Don't you love them grandbabies? Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, we love them grandbabies. Yeah. Like, they can't do no wrong. They can't do no wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they are. I never understood. <gasps> yeah. It was like, now, mama, if that was us, you would have told Come us what's up. Yeah. But then them, them grandboys do it. Ooh. They'd be like, what happened? Right. I ain't see it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so okay, so in your family, then there has been a uh, grandbaby out of marriage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And that can be, how do I say? I mean, that's almost commonplace. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It was, <laughs> I mean, can I be honest? Yeah. Here? I mean, it's, it's almost commonplace. I mean, I can't. I mean, why are you tripping? Is probably what the world would think, because mm-hmm. people have sex, and if they don't use protection, they have they babies, have babies, and this is how the families grow. <laughs> okay, um, marriage is is so very important to us as Christians, but to the world, it's not so important. Uh, Pastor Carmen, if if I was a worldly dude. And I was dating your daughter. How would you explain to me the importance of abstaining from sex and marriage without telling me your husband uses a shotgun? Because I don't want to hear. <laughs> yeah. Um, really, it's to say that really God has principles, and His principles just are for our protection. So you can go and and you can have sex, and y'all become one, and you become one, and then you crazy. And and I tell them, yeah, you know, you true. the 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 guys that think, oh, we got it all together, we we won't fall in love like that. You fall in love. Yep. And then you want to kill her because you not the one, or she want to kill him because he's not, not the, the one. one. You set up wrong relationships, and in the end, when you set them up wrong in the beginning, they gonna turn out to be yeah, wrong absolutely. in the end. Mm-hmm. And 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 my children are smart. They say, well, look at you and your my daddy. You know, I, I, mm-hmm. they say stuff like that to me. Their mm-hmm. mother, I okay. just can't believe they do me. Oh, like you that. mean you mean throwing up your past? Yeah, throwing up my past. Even though they weren't even here, right? right. No, they was here when we was living together, not married. Okay. <laughs> so mm-hmm. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Yeah, but yeah, is. they were. So they, you know, mommy, you and daddy didn't get married right, right away, y'all. Yes, we did, but we paid for that. You know, yeah, it was we by the grace of God that we stayed together. It wasn't his <laughs> choice nor my choice. So I want to let them know that just because it worked out in one situation does not mean all situations is going to work out right, like that. Right. That so I mean, I just feel like there are some exceptions to the rule, yeah. and but not only I don't think we were an exception to the rule. We took the heartache and pain. Yes. They yes. have to realize that we went that through some stuff. We, yeah, we, you we have to realize yeah, mother, yeah, that there's there some. Yes. They were going through this. Yes. <laughs> they, you have to. What they have to realize is that. You try, you learn through your experiences, and they've been through experiences, and they know what it is. So they try to let you know so that you won't go through that. Right. And then, too, on top of that, um, to let them know that even when these things do, and you make your own uh, decision, because you're going to do it whether we tell you or not, right. that there are consequences behind it. Right. It ain't something that you're just going to leave off and go. Right. And because there are consequences. Oh, there are definitely consequences. Behind, behind. Now, do you understand that? Consequences. Absolutely. Explain. I understand. I mean, like, uh, uh, like you said, I do understand them because I feel like I go through them. So okay. I, I know, like, I and I try to plan it out. Okay, I'd be like, all right, this happened. What's the worst can happen? So I try to see it before I do it and see if I can come off good or bad with it. So I try to plan it out. Like, okay, like, okay, if I know he ain't saved, mm. so now when somebody try to talk to me or, or um. A guy tried to approach me. First thing is like, look, I don't need you to be holier than thou, but do you go to church? Do you at least know him? Right. And he's like, right. I can start going. I'm like, no. Nah. Yeah, I go. My mom, grandma be making me go. I'm like, okay, you you cool enough to talk then. I don't want you to be too. I don't need you to be too because I I'm not too saved like that. So I'm not trying to make you. <laughs> no, I'm not holier like than that. thou. Let me take it back. Like, holier yeah, than thou. I know what you're saying. Know, Right. I'm not trying to be. I'm, 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 I mean, I understand what you're saying. You don't necessarily have to have a guy, you know, carrying his Bible. Yeah. 
and mm -hmm. and and talking to you, but you want to know that he understands exactly sal salvation. Uh, yeah, he has to. Has to understand salvation. That, that's that's mm -hmm. that's very that's okay. very important. But the bad boys are so attractive. Yeah. Okay, tell the truth. What what discussion do we have all the time? Now, me and her had this discussion all the time. <laughs> She'd be like, I just don't want to settle for a church guy because they're just too mm, churchy. Yeah, she like, they, they so shake. she say shaky. Don't say shaky. I don't, I don't know. We gotta... know like, I, 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 I tell my mom, like, you know, dad, because my dad, he grew up. He wasn't all safe, so he grew up a little hardcore, so he don't got that little mannerism. <laughs> And sometimes I'll be seeing guys not at church and they just mannerism just be like a little bit like mine. And I'll just be yeah, like, a little, uh, yeah. I don't know what's going on. So right. I'll be like, yeah, I need somebody right. a little rougher around the edges than the little. Yeah, but he got to be saved. Yeah, he got to be. I mean, he, of course he, I want he, you to be saved. Especially where, where, where you're at in life. Um, well, one of the things I, and this is, it, it, you can contest it. Mm -hmm. You can, everyone can contest mm -hmm. it. If you marry an unsaved person, don't expect no saved behaviors. Don't, don't do it. You already got it. Don't, 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 don't. Why'd you play around on me? What you mean why I played around? I ain't saved. I'm not saved. I don't know. What you mean? I mean, it's, it's normal. Right. My sister ran into that problem with a guy, man, and then he was one of those fake Muslims. Just because the name was Abdullah, right. he was not an Abdullah. Right. right. He would not pass the bacon test. Right. All right? Right. <laughs> He played around on her, man, all the time. Right. And she called crying. Yeah. And we're like, I ain't going to say her name, but I'm going to say sis. You knew he wasn't a Christian. Right. I can't get upset with his behavior. That's what they do. Right. And always and remember that. that. Just because they saved on me, they always the right one for you. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, that is so true, but we know. But at least it's a good start. We know we something. We can find out. We know something, don't we, Mother? We know there's consequences. Yes. consequences. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you going to do that? And you say you say, there's consequences. Right. God's, God is dealing with you. Right. You ain't you ain't got to deal with him or her. Right. God going to deal with you. Correct. In the other end, the devil ain't going to, the devil don't care. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Yes. But if you say you save spirit filled with the Holy Spirit and sanctified and fire baptized and all the other crazy stuff and you out there doing crazy things, oh, cool. I turn you over to the Lord. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at what right. I I, I used to tell my husband yeah. that all the time. After a certain point, I got tired of saying the same thing over again. So I said, you know what? You you got to deal with your God with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I mean, I'm not saying it's I can fuss and argue. Don't. That didn't work. Right. But be like, how did God feel about it? Come on. Come and, on. And when he, I knew he was for real saved, I could use that. Now, when he was playing saved, no, it didn't matter. But when he was for real saved, I could use, well, how do God feel about it? Yeah. So that way I didn't have to argue, fuss, complain. I could still do everything that I had to do. Mm -hmm. So and that's what I want to tell my daughter even now. Even with her saying, you know, she said, I feel like some people are compromised. They just get somebody in church and they really don't like them. What we have to look mm -hmm. at is the whole outcome of it. They, they're not just looking at how he makes me feel today. Mm -hmm. They're looking at, you know... Uh, this young man is going to love God and he's going to look at his consequences rather than how manly he could be, you know, according to the world standards. So, you know, I, we have this discussion and I want her to be free enough to tell me how she feels. Mm -hmm. And I want her to, you know, be like, OK, you know, so we have this discussion all the time. Correct. Mm -hmm. So um, even in that, I want her and I want her, the young ladies that's listening right now. To say that, you know, today you're looking at him like he a hardcore man and he doing what he want to do. He got this about him. But tomorrow he's going to be that same man and you're going to want somebody to be um, able to cuddle with you. You're going to want somebody to be able to understand your feelings. You're going to want somebody to be able to hear and sympathize with you. And that's not what you wanted. You wanted that hardcore one. And he hardcore, but he hardcore all the way around. Right. Amen. They have right. to realize that your spiritual level... That you on, you need someone on that level, right. if not above that level. And, 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 and mother, you married or you're, you're widowed or? I'm divorced. Divorced. Mm -hmm. When, did you ever want to get married again? 
Not really. No, not really. Okay. <laughs> now, there's somebody out there. There's somebody I do out have there. an application. Okay, I'm going to look at the application. Hey, good mama. Mama got an application. Y'all, y'all see over here. <laughs> <laughs> she said, she's taking an application. <laughs> well, then, let me ask you. Let me, let me ask you guys this question. You can, you can chime in too, mom. You pray for what you want. I've heard women say that. I heard women say, I prayed. I know my wife said she prayed for me. Mm-hmm. You know, and I was a whole nother race away. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. You know, but but she prayed for a certain type of individual, and 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 she got what she she asked for. Right. Uh, you said right. Yeah. So talk to me. Cause I I hear everything my mom is saying, but I feel like you don't have to set. I feel like that certain person you're looking for is out there like you don't have to pick like well he's not what I'm looking for but in the long run he might make me happy I don't I don't totally agree with that because I want to love you when I marry you I don't want to just be like okay in the long run it's going to work out but right now right, it's a, mm, right. I mean of course not you don't want to settle for, for for something yeah. nobody wants to do no. that no. you know and also too, you have to be I mean I mean it could be love at first sight I mean those things have happened could, really? yeah. you know true too but you're, you're, you're correct you want to pray for you know, right. you know, uh, what you're looking for, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you so acknowledge him and everything, and, 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 and that's it, mother. And, and then, in all your ways, him, he's gonna he send him, seek him right. first, and he'll you give know, you all his life. righteousness. Come on, and all these things will be added. That's, that's what he's all of you about. out there. If you want to text <laughs> in with your question, you can text at 216 334 9419. And may I say that again, Pastor? 216 334 9419. You can text that number if you got a question that you want to ask while we on the air, and uh, we'll try to put it on and, and get an answer for you. Amen, amen, amen. That Good. that um, uh, uh, Pastor Carmen, um, the, the way you, you you do things. Uh, your son's not here. I'm just I just want to get an idea oh, of, of, of. Yeah, he was he was trying he was trying to make it. He was trying to make it. Yeah, yeah. How is he different from from Baby Girl? Um, he is definitely his own person. Um, he is. I um, I, I actually could say my son reminds me so much of my husband at his age. He is. He, he's just him at his age. He's. Um, he's the young man who. Um, I don't. I asked my daughter. I said, "Well, I call myself not raising him like in the hood of hoods. I tried to mold him, and no, he just that." Um, he's just that guy. He's just that, that guy. He's that dude. He, he that right? dude. Yeah. And a I, I handsome young man um, who's know he's handsome. Mm-hmm. And because he knows he's handsome, he does things that I'm not in agreement with. And I tell him, I said, you got a daughter now. Mm-hmm. So every girl's heart you break, think about you don't want that to happen to your daughter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you know, and he comes in and he's just his own person. I can't. Just, I be trying to make him do things. Mm-hmm. He just not but, gonna do it. But he's at home. No, um, yeah, sometimes. That's <laughs> why <laughs> okay. I get mad. Okay. I put him out, and we go through that. And you and put him yes, out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's rules in my house. Yes, oh, sir. Got you. Understood. Understood. <laughs> and 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 so, um, when he uh, is he does he go to church too? Mm-hmm. I guess he'll be your church. Yeah, I seen him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he'll come in a half an hour late. Yeah, but but he's there. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. Yes, he is. He, yes, he is. He's there. And why do you think um, he's he's his own man in that sense? I think his daddy loves him, and I think my husband um, taught him to be his own individual person. Okay. And so I think we trained them like that. Sometimes yes. it hurts that I did. I wish I would have just. But no, I'm just. Uh-huh. I, I wanted them to be. I want them to make their choice about God on their own. I don't want them to be fake. Right. I'd rather for him to say, "This is me." Right, right. And not right. try to be fake, and we try to marry them off, or we try to get them to walk, and that's not them. Right. So I want them to be them, and I mean, and my daughter is here. And can you blame them? No, I mean, can you blame them in, in, in the sense that you, you don't want them breaking hearts? Um, I have an issue with that because it takes two to tango. Mm-hmm. Okay, and if the girl is, <laughs> you know, uh, loose enough, that's the word I want to use. I can use a whole hundred other. other words. <laughs> yeah, we, know. <laughs> you know, you know, I, I can get dirty, right? right. <laughs> you know, right. But, I, but this is a family <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> if she want to get loose enough, and he hitting it, 
Well then, but you. It, how is it that? I mean, my thing is, but respect. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think you still have to respect yourself and her. Okay. I think that's my issue. If she allows you to, you know, but. In the end of the day, just because somebody allow you to do something, it might not be the best thing for you. Right. Right. So, you know, I, I just want him to understand this. Every decision, just because you can, may not be the one. And right. I have always taught them the type of young lady that should be in his life. And as well as taught him and my others the kind of man you need to be in her life. Mm. Yes. You need a queen for you, mm-hmm. and she needs a king for herself. Mm-hmm. And there are standards. But do they understand that that par that that that, that, that parable you use being a king and a queen? Yeah, they know what it is. How do they? Well, we all well we have always taught them, like this Bible says, the man mm-hmm. is the head of the house, yes. as Christ is the head of the church. Right. It's going to be your responsibility to take care of your house, right. as Christ took care of His church. And his people. You got to have your family. You need someone there that's going to uplift you. Your dreams that you're going to have to uplift you. The goals that you want to work together to get them. Because it's going to be together. Okay. As well as you're going to encourage her. If she want to go, to encourage her to go. So who be de- behind her. Who deals in the house, in the family, anyone can answer this, with the baby mama drama? The entire family. Okay, how does that, that's good. How does that affect the family? And, and how do you deal with baby mama drama? Don't, don't you you, mama, you, don't be whispering under your breath now. You, you deal with, okay, yeah. maybe I shouldn't be the one. No. Okay, okay. Well, well you time with I, that. I, I, you, I just got to explain the question to me a little bit more. Well, and, baby and mama deals, drama, you you know, don't want to bring the baby over to let me see it because you mad at him. Mm-hmm. Right. right. Well, you know, and yeah, yeah, baby mama drama, you know, and, and all I the stuff. I think we all upset, suffer because of it. You uh, can't I, do this. You can't do that. You know, the, even the like child that. suffers because yes. of it. Yes. Grandparents they, they suffer. Yeah, I, you know, and I'm going to say it on both sides. Now, here, I'm I'm Victoria, my daughter has a baby daddy. Okay. And sometimes I think she give baby mama drama. Sure. Sure. So and it's not it's on both sides. Right. And you I get to see yeah, I get to it. see both sides of yeah. it. So I, I'm kinda So that's good. That's just as good. I get so, both sides. So when it. so when Victoria is in her mood, mm-hmm. you can't see it. Right. Him, right? Right. You yeah. can't see him. Mm-hmm. Okay. How and, and you get wind of that. How do y'all handle that? Oh, I'm telling her every time. You, he is the father. Right, and you knew that him. when you laid right. down with him. I don't care. We don't he don't, he don't, don't have this that. standard. He need to do No, he don't need to do anything. Right. It's simply the father, fact you both father. produce a child together. Right. And when you laid down with him, you should have thought about that. You didn't. So now, therefore, that's still the father. Just as well as you're his mother. Right. That is his father. And he loves you too. So, yeah. amen. <laughs> amen. And, and I don't think you. I don't care what somebody can do financially, or if they don't do what you want them to mm. do. That's still that child's parent. Mm. Not only is that that child's parent, that's that child's grand. Um, he has aunts. He has. He has an uncle. He has cousin. A sister. A sister. I want them. He, yeah. He, he and matter of fact, he, ha- he. They need to bond. Yeah. Whether the parents get along or not. Right. Right. And so I, I think I see it on both ends. So and on both ends, and I think as a family unit, we're all involved in it mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. great grandma wants mm-hmm. to see um, yes. them, mm-hmm. and and auntie wants to see him. I tell her she's the best aunt in the world. We get a mm-hmm. pool in the back. She's in the pool with the kids. Right, 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 right. So she's the best aunt. You know, she takes the kids to different places. <laughs> she so, just saved my grandkids as birth control for her. But she <laughs> works with them, and she takes them yeah. to Chuck E. Cheese and Sky Zone right. and mm-hmm. Jump Yard, and she does that with them. So if any of them are having beef, guess who misses out? I right. see. Right. Or guess who gets involved in it? Oh, who gets involved? Right. Right. Well, that's another thing. Right. So, so now you're seeing. See, you're, you're the baby girl. Mm-hmm. So you got you like you have the perfect vantage point of all of this. Yes. You can see what mom and dad has gone through. Mm-hmm. You can see what your sister and your brother has gone mm-hmm. through. You can really make some great decisions. Mm-hmm. You don't have to repeat <laughs> none of the mistakes right. that they made. And I'm not going to lie, I still come around 
looking at their mistakes and I end up doing something like, well, dang, I already didn't see it, but I mean, it ain't severe like theirs or uh-huh. <laughs> like theirs, yeah, but, it's it's, yeah, <laughs> but it's still some mistakes that I still do after, especially my sister would tell me not right. to go down that path. Right. I still be like, well, I'm different than you. Well, your curiosity. Right. Right. But you know, curiosity killed the cat. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. I, I got it. Might not be a good thing. Satisfaction brought it back. (laughs) (laughs) That might not be a good thing to say, but uh, satisfaction brought it back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, well, that's one of my sayings. Once you go black, you never go back. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I digress. digress. (laughs) Okay, let's get back on. (laughs) (laughs) But you know, sometimes we can still tell them that, Apostle, and. They still need to learn and get the experience on their own. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We just have to hope and, and just pray and that that if they do fall into the little hole, that is a little hole, not a big hole. Yes. But they got to learn how to fall down up into the crawl their way back up out of it. That's why the Bible says train a child. It's, it don't say make go. a child. It's in the way he it don't say go. make them do this. It says right. train them. Yeah. Yeah. Because it does something the to right say way to go. That, that they will right. return to it or right. something. Yeah. Say something. Yeah. In yeah. other words, will. when they mess up, they yeah. can look back and say, yeah, I know why I'm going through this. And know what right. to do. Exactly. It don't yeah. mean necessarily they're going to come back to church, but it, it'll, it'll let them know Mm-hmm. Uh, oh man, I know why I got in trouble. Right. Or I know how to get out of. Right. Like, right. I don't right. think that it's right. the worst. Like I'll be like, oh, what is? What did mm-hmm. I do? Or why did I do this? And I'll be like, okay, I mm-hmm. just know this is gonna pass. <clears throat> this too shall pass. So I just like I'm just keep right. my head up. And I got friends who don't know stuff like that, so they just think like, oh my God, this is the end, and they don't mm. know how to cope with certain things or think like this is just over. And me, it's looking in like you don't know that it's gonna. It's gonna go. It's gonna go away. It's gonna move over. You are gonna continue life, but right. they don't have that. Cause like my mom and dad gave me put install that in me, so I see the difference with situations like that. So yeah, definitely that is. Uh, you know, I know because, how to get out of life. see that's that's wisdom and that's that's good parenting. Um, it, it isn't it isn't it something to you know to. Isn't it. Uh, Satisfying to hear her know that this too shall pass. Yes. 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 You know, because some young people take their lives on some of the most, what we consider some of the most dumbest stuff in the world to us. Mm -hmm. Because we know we serve a great God that he, okay, I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. I repent. Mm Mm-hmm. I gotta go through the consequences here for a moment, but it's gonna be all right in the end. It's the hopelessness, and yeah. it, it's, it's, I, I mean, I'm glad I heard her say that. And Amen. even with you know, because I, I, we didn't want to teach them that it's hopeless. You know, you're not hopeless. Mm-hmm. Even when I make a mistake, it's not the end mm-hmm. of the world. It doesn't end everything. And um, so I, I'm really glad that I appreciate hearing her say that. And then I can say I see it in her lifestyle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because because Mama, they had one young man in here, mm-hmm. Lasher. What's his name? Minister Bo. Oh, Minister Bo. Yeah, yes. Talk about Super Saint. Yeah, I heard <laughs> the name you gave him. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm like, I'm looking to see, is this, this Jesus come back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a wonderful young man. He is a truly a, a, a wonderful young man. Yes. young man. I have another young lady, uh, Tanila. Right. Mm-hmm. She is Super Saint. Pastor and I'll be, Darby Darby Darby. Darby. Mm-hmm. I'll be throwing... Mm-hmm. Everything but the kitchen sink at her. <laughs> no, no, Pastor. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> right. you know, mm-hmm. I'm, 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 I'm going to get her. <laughs> but no, no. She, she, she's beautiful people. And that's what I love about your, your family. And, and that's one thing I admire um, about your ministry is that your family is involved. Your extended family mm-hmm. is involved. And they accept you in the position as pastor and pastor. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's really important. Mm-hmm. That's really important. You're not getting any pushback, or you may get pushback, but you can correct right. and go on from there. Right. You know, and I, I think that's I think that's just fabulous. I think that's just yes. great. I got a topic about the family. Sure. I, someone, um, and I, it was a conversation that I had with a um, a young lady, and she said, "Well, I don't want to go to church." Or it's hard for me to continue in churches because a lot of churches are nothing but family. Mm. I'm like okay, well, that that usually that's how mm-hmm. you build churches. You build right, a family, right, right. and she said because it seems like family get away with doing more than everybody else. Mm. 
And I was explaining to her, and I, I was going from my situation. Um, we have a brother-in-law, sister-in-law, um, my mother-in-law. I had family who was there. Mm -hmm. Who's there when everybody else is gone at night? Who's <laughs> building walls? Who's you know cleaning up? Who's doing all this? And then it's like, well, their family is why they get to do certain things. No, it's because they're there. Mm. And when everybody else leaves and walks out, most of the time, family is still going to be That's there. Right. Right. And I used to be like, I'm so tired of this family. Because our church was like three families that just came together. And it's still everybody that comes, come from one of them families. Mm. <laughs> because that's how we came in. So it's, it's like a... Um, it's good. It's great to have family. But also people that come in that's not attached to that immediate family mm -hmm. feel some type of way. So I want to discuss how do we make them feel as part of the family when they see family in, let's say, key positions in mm -hmm. leadership in the church. And they feel like I can never move in because that family is there and taking up everything. Anybody understand what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, um, Pastor, I'm going to put this question to you or put this, how do we make people feel a part of when there is so much family in the church, you know, we love on them. First of all, we get to we get to know them, and I believe that's what we try to do. We try to get to know them. Um, and me, I'm a people person, so mm -hmm. I'm a I'm gonna try to see what's the gift in you, because I'm gonna ask you, what do you like to do? What are what are your talents? Mm -hmm. You know, and then I'm gonna watch. You know, now if you're faithful, I got something for you to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're faithful to the ministry, because some of them want to just come right in. And start doing something, but that ain't how it works. You gotta come in and, and, and show yourself that okay, I'm faithful to right, this ministry, right. and then I can say okay, let's 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 start working with them, right? Um, and, and do something. Okay, right. That's a way to get them involved in any right. activities that's going on. In right, the church, and, and, and that's what you do in the beginning. That's a yes. good point. Get Let them start involved getting involved in in, things, in, in right. some of the activities mm -hmm. that we're doing, and. Mm -hmm. You know, and encourage them and uplift them and be happy about it. Yeah. Not dead and we dry. always need somebody clean the church. You know. <laughs> <laughs> when well, I first we, when we I first uh, got yeah. saved and, and was going to ministry, that's what I did. Mm -hmm. I cleaned the church and 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 was proud doing it. I thought it was the bomb. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, I got Me too. That's, that's right. I was that's right. you know had my little carpet cleaning machines, my mm -hmm. buffers, waxing the floors. You know, so I'm thinking I'm the best guy to ever wax these flows right, right here. Right, right. So right. God's house got to look good right. too, just like house do. And, and I think it's because if you come in and you're doing it for God, mm -hmm. and it, it, it you take on that mentality. Yep. 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 You take on that mentality, like, man. That's this, the key point. And you step back and look like, hey, that's a good job right there. Right. I, you know? But I see the other side um, to that too. What Pastor was talking about to the point where some of them feel family can get away with things. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's the, the all right, all right, that's the pastor's mother. She can say and do anything she wants. Mm -hmm. Wrong. Right. Not every vibe of life ministries. Because they are still held accountable for my actions. They have, they they're they're my pastors, you know what I'm saying? That's number one. So once you come into a church home and you see the pastors are the shepherds of the flock and that order is there and it is stipulated and it is drilled into us about that, then they will see, just because I'm the pastor's mother, that I'm going to get away with anything. Right. If anything, I will be pulled in the back and told. Right. But I'm just saying, you right. know, how things are. Well, and well, I think that's another part of it, too. Well, 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 well at the church, do you not, um, let me see, at, at, at the church, do you let people know that there's positions that are open and that they are free to apply for those positions or apply for those ministries? Yes, we um, yes, yes. yes, we always say we have um, ministry helps. We need people in ministry of helps. We need people to become elevated, to elevate your spiritual growth. We always say that and we want more than just family. We, right. You know, and, and even though it seems like we have family, but I think we have a good balance now. We yeah. have a really good balance of others that's coming in. So we do let them know, but it's something that, um, as they were saying, it's something that Pastor Charles said that you if you're doing it for God 
it don't matter how much family around you. If, even if they're not your family, you understand what I'm doing, I'm doing for God. And it's not about who's around me. And that's how we will be able to give more. That's how we give more of ourselves because I'm doing it for God. And not so much to be seen or not to be in the family group. It's I'm doing it because I'm doing it for the Lord. Amen. And he's going to elevate and put you there. Amen. And eventually, mm-hmm. I, 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 um, God really reveals to me when when uh, uh when somebody got something on their life he reveals it to me every single time and and when i see it i begin to work with him in that area mm-hmm. whether it's prophecy or or whether i i can see you can god is showing me you're going to be a great teacher he shows me that and i begin to train them <laughs> in the areas that i see sometimes they don't know i'm training them right but they be wondering mm-hmm. well why is he making me do this and, and until the time i tell them they be saying, now i see why you was making me do all that million dollar question mm-hmm. do you see the calling in your children's lives yes oh, yeah. this is a prophet right here right here she already knows that mm-hmm. i already even told them this is a prophet mm-hmm. okay cj will eventually be uh to me he will be an evangelist Okay. Because he's a people person. Yeah. Uh, he knows how to go out and talk to anybody. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And and he can really grasp anybody, I don't care what race they is, mm-hmm. and he can sit down and have a conversation with them. God has been revealing that to me. Um, but he's going to have to go through what he got to go through. Right. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. My other daughter, my oldest daughter, she's more of a watchman. Uh, she's more of a watchman on the wall. Mm. I'm going to make sure nothing happens. Happens, right, mm-hmm. right, right. You know, because right, right. believe me, she come back and tell. Mm-hmm. Man. Oh, she, oh, she's a tattletale? Yeah, she, yeah. That, that she, Has she, your sister told her you sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. When, my, no. when, when it comes to my kids, they ain't going to tell They ain't going to tell each other. They, 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 yeah, they, 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 they yeah. stuck to it. They yeah, yeah, but but she's, <laughs> she does think she's their mother. Right. But she thinks she's my mother. Too, right. She so, thinks she's the mother of the house. Yeah, she does. She yeah. does. And I see an apostolic anointing. Uh, yeah. She has really of that, I want this order, and I want it like I want it. Right, and right. She, very much so. Right. So, so Dorsey's, you know, as we get ready to, to wind down here, and, and pastors and families come and, and watch this show, uh, for, 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 the, for the families that are constantly in conflict over church and ministry, church and family, like you all could have been mm-hmm. if this young lady wanted to, to go that route. What would you, what would you tell them? How would you tell them to handle, you know, children, church, and family? Um, if 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 it's a situation like ours was, uh, with my daughter in sports and and all these different type of things, I would say sit down and have a conversation with her. With them and let them know I'm going to make some of them and I might not be able to make all of them, mm-hmm. but I do believe you uh, make that attempt to go. Mm-hmm. I do believe you create that balance. Um, and a lot of times I knew we couldn't make hers, but I made it up to her in a different kind of way. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, she, that's why I say she's spoiled because I basically give her whatever she wants, clothes, mm-hmm. you know. But, but, but you I, I was making it up because I knew we couldn't. How did you make it up? Um, I would take her out on the weekend. Okay. You know, I would spend that time with her. All right. Now, now yeah. I'm going to share something with you. The Holy Spirit just revealed something to mm-hmm. me. When parents show up to an event mm-hmm. that the child is in, two major things happen. One, they're proud of you. Yes. Yeah, right, right. We be understand there. that. We understand that. Oh, I love, look at my mom and my dad. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. And then secondly, it 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 encourages, it encourages them, them. Mm-hmm. Yes. to do better. Yes. It does. For you. Right. Mm-hmm. You know. Because it's, it's like if they if they make an attempt to come see me, I'm gonna make an attempt to do do my best. Best. Mm-hmm. You right. know, I'm I, I may right. become a Michael Jordan. If it's right. basketball, I may because right. Michael Jordan, my mom and my daddy out there. You know what I'm That's saying? Right. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Right. And to make to make the parents proud. So it's really important. It's important uh, that you that make means. every attempt to be at their function. Right. Yeah. Um, and that's why I say you you talk to them and you try to create a uh, you you try to create a system where you can you can be there. Right. Right. And what I mean by create a system, uh, uh, you, tr- you 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 can train somebody to handle a class. Yeah. Or two. If if you mm-hmm. don't have nobody, guess what? You I'm quite sure you got a brother or sister in Christ mm-hmm. that can come in right. and teach that class. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I, I do believe you have to make sure uh family is taken care yes. of. Now question for you. Would you 
truly be happy, or would have been happy, if, what's your name again? Raven A. If they said, Raven A, we're going to close the church down. Why was I saying that in my head? Or shut the church down if you can't get nobody to come Okay, we're going to close the church down, <laughs> Raven A, and come see my baby play. I'm gonna give you would that, that make you happy? Or I, no? Yes, if they said, all right, look, I can't get nobody to come, or just this one time, if this what it takes, we're going to have to shut it down. Absolutely, because I wouldn't feel like there was really nothing wrong with it. I would feel like, okay, right. they they look, they got to, you know, take care of their home, making sure they take care of their kid. Like, you also got to make your kid happy, too, and everything. So, I wouldn't, I was saying that the whole time in my head, like, or oh, you could have just shut the church down for a day when nobody mm-hmm. missed a thing or had an mm-hmm. right. uh, evening <laughs> service or something. So you could have shut down an evening service. We could have did something. Came and that. supported you. Mm-hmm. And maybe even met some new people. Right, because I don't this think This is Pastor church, and Pastor Dorsey. Right, because church is not just not those four the walls. The four walls. Right. And then everybody, matter of fact, everybody that was coming to church that night, are we all going to go to Reverend A's game? Right. Mm-hmm. We could have. You thought like that? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Did you really think like that? I'm not. I'm not. You're not joking. She, she, yeah, she's, she's, she's real. Like she she likes, she's real. Yeah, she's she's real. real. Yes, That's beautiful. Yes. She's like, shut okay. the church down to bring everybody with y'all. Right. 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 We can have a good time. We can do a lot of screaming and shouting at the game. Yeah. That's my people. That's my people. That's my people. Right. And that, and to me, that is important. As a matter of fact, can I tell you a secret? I purposely bought tickets to the air show for Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and my son and my daughter and I'm bright my sister in law and my aunt and niece and, and cousin, we go to the air show on Sunday at twelve o'clock. Mm-hmm. While y'all in church. <laughs> we're, gonna be, we're gonna be sitting out here, okay? Enjoying family. Mm-hmm. Enjoy family because I have this one sister I really want. I, I love her. I want to get her saved. Mm-hmm. I really want to get this lady saved. And I think that's what people see when they see you got love like that. Yeah. Then they they you draw people more exactly. to mm-hmm. one another instead because people mm-hmm. like all they do is think about church. Like I don't need that. They not real people. They not down to earth. Mm-hmm. But when people see you like I'm putting my family first before or this mm-hmm. going on, then I think people draw more to that. And, and I pray. Yeah. I hope she. I hope she realizes. I hope she understands exactly because the Holy Spirit put it on my heart. Mm-hmm. I can invite anybody, but the Holy Spirit say invite your sister, your particular sister in law. Mm-hmm. Invite her, okay, and and she can bring a friend. Mm-hmm. All right. And let her see Apostle James and Elder Kathy in a whole nother life. Right. Right. Then they say you missing church, but you, know? you with me at missing church. So a- exactly. Well, they say that about exactly. it. We used to get a little bit of criticism because we shut church down on Sundays. Uh, we go we like. We shut church down on Sunday uh-huh. to go to our church picnic. Oh, what is what you know? You know that? <laughs> and, and, and we do baptism right, out at the, right, at the right, we right. go to a beach and we right, do baptism right. and have, have our picnic fun. and we just have fun for the day. And we used to try to get others to come in. They'd be like, no, man, then I'm going to miss out on tides or uh-huh. when somebody show up or, you know. And, and so, and, and, and we I guess we do got to realize that the church is not the four walls. The church is us. Yeah. Amen. You know, and uh, Amen. it's us who are going to draw Amen. People, people in, in. to Amen. come to more services. And Amen. some people already feel that when you get saved, it's boring. Mm-hmm. Right. We, where, where you get that right. from? You gotta, you gotta have some we dead. still have activities. You take the stuff do, away, but you're not you know, replacing it with nothing. Right. And it's Amen. not. Amen. You're saying, I can't do this and I can't do that, right. but right. you ain't saying what I can so do. See, that, that is so true. That, 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 that is so put true. an impact on them. That's right. And, 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 and I'm going to tell you another secret. I, I tell on myself, too. You know what? Them the best folks to unsaved family members. Mm-hmm. If you want to have a beer, you ain't gonna offend nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a beer, <laughs> and it's not gonna offend them. Right. 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 Because you know, everybody say, "Hey, no, I'm not gonna drink anything because I don't want to yeah. offend my brother." Right. 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 Thank goodness they drink. That's not going to fit. So it's not going to go right in there. But they so, say that they'll do, they will withdraw. They do it out of respect. That's, that's, right, that's, right, right. that's right. right. That's right. That's right. But no, have fun, honey. Well, Pastor Dorsey, you want to you want to lead somebody to Christ and close out for us? Um, I just want 
someone out there who's just saying, you know, I, I've done a lot of things in my life and I'm just ready to say, you know, it has to be something greater than myself. So I just challenge you to take this opportunity to pray with me. Father God, we thank and love you. We adore you. We understand we're not the end of all. There has to be something greater. And you, our Father, who loved us, gave your Son, Christ Jesus, for us to die on Calvary's cross for our sins because we are full of sin. But you sent him who was sinless to die for us. And now his sinless life covers us. And then we thank you for the blood that covers us. So we ask right now that you just come penetrate that heart right now and let them know that you got purpose and plan in their lives, Father God, and that they could just come to you and celebrate in you, cast their every care upon you because you care for them. In Jesus' name, touch and agree with us. And we want to say thank you for being saved and thank you. And we ask that you do find a church home. We Revival of Life is a church home, but there's plenty of them. Just look on KZ Radio. Amen. 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 Before we break out, Apostle, I want yes. to make an announcement. We have a, a teen summit tomorrow, and it's, it's, it's based for the teens. They, we, uh, they have a panel of people that's going to be on the panel. You can ask them any question. Sunday. You ain't going to have the, the adults in there. No, tomorrow. Friday. 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 Okay. At, at, uh, let me see what time she told me. <laughs> I believe it's 6 p.m. tomorrow. Okay, cool. Yeah. No, Friday at 7 p.m. is the teen panel, and Saturday at 6 p.m. we have a youth movie night. Oh, cool. 15322 Waterloo, Revival of Life Ministries, Cleveland, Ohio, 44110. We love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Amen. 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 All right. That was good. Good show, guys. Good show. Like Good show. Y'all, the last time y'all in the mic like we all? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the, the last time the, the TV thing was 